Welcome to a quick video on the statement of retained earnings. This is meant to be simply a introductory video um, to make sure that you understand what the statement of retained earnings is and how it's connected to the income statement and to the balance sheet. So what is a statement of retained earnings? It's a statement that reports the changes in accumulated profits over the life of the business. So since day one, how much profit have we accumulated and kept within the business? Okay. Uh, we always want to make sure that it's profits that do not include dividends. So what is a dividend? Dividend is any part of our profit, money-wise, any part of our profit that we have decided to redistribute to our shareholders. So we take a look at our profit and our retained earnings. We'll then decide how much we want to give back to our shareholders. Uh, this can happen quarterly. This can happen um, in bi-yearly. This can happen yearly, okay, where our shareholders will receive an amount of money um, for having a share in our company, for holding stock in our company. This is to keep our shareholders happy with their return on investment and happy with why they've invested money into our business. Okay? Uh, the statement of retained earnings shows information from previous accounting period to the next. So it's created every year and the retained earnings part shows up on the balance sheet. So if we take a look at a very simple example, this is the statement of retained earnings for December 31st, 2017. So the retained earnings on January 1st, 2017, at the beginning of the year, this would have also been the statement, the, sorry, the retained earnings at the end of 2016, right? It just moves on. Um, so it was $159,480. That was our accumulated profits that had not been distributed as dividends. For 2017, we had a net income of $32,724. We would then add that to our retained earnings because this is profit, right? This is good. We've made more money. This would give us a subtotal of what our retained earnings are after we've added our net income from 2017. Now we do a subtotal because then we would decide how much we would distribute as dividends. Okay? So dividends would be a subtraction from our subtotal here because we're redistributing some of our profit to our shareholders. So we're giving that money out to our shareholders. So it's a minus to find out what our retained earnings are as at the end of the year. Okay. So we made 32,000 in net income. So we add that to our previous retained earnings and then we take away how much we redistribute as dividends to find out what our retained earnings as of December 31st, 2017. This number here would show up uh, on our balance sheet. So this would be our retained earnings as at that moment in time. 